The 19th of July 2022, the hottest day ever in our history. We had a car in for a special type of service. And it wasn't just any old car. This was a 6.5 litre masterpiece. A car that looked so evil, just by staring at it, I knew it was going to be one big fat nightmare. I can't get out of this. Coming up, me and the team face a variety of challenges to bring this car back to its best. We clean, polish, coat and remove dents in the Surrey sweat box, also known as Charwood. Plus, I'll be using a huge variety of products and I'll be sharing lots of tips and tricks along the way. So this is the car we're going to be working on today. It's a 2018 Rolls-Royce Dawn. Now you may look at it from a distance and think that it does look like a beautiful car, but it's only when you start to get close to it do you really start to see all its flaws. So a bit of a backstory behind this car. Now I currently clean it every two to three weeks for the client, depending on whether he's in or not. But I'm not the only person who gets my hands on this. He has cleaners as well. Now not only do they clean the house, but they also like to clean the car for him and he hasn't told them to stop it either. So what I found was they were using waterless wipes, they were using all sorts of things, and we're not talking about the budget stuff you find in the local pound shop, we're talking about cheaper stuff than that. So I've been waiting a few months to get my hands on this car and give it a good sorting out. And as you can see from these close-ups here, it's not a pretty sight. With that in mind, it's time to get cracking. So job number one was to get everything out and set up. So I've got quick and easy access because on days like today, you don't get any time at all. You either work quick or it's game over. Thankfully, I got some cracking products today, including Epic Automotive Zesty Lemon Shampoo, loads of products from the incredible Infinity Wax, a few bits from G-Technic, Valet Pro and Nasiol. So I was all ready to go, but then, Oh, what is that? There's something leaking here. Oh, not the best starts of the day, Dave. Oh my God, look at that. Whoa, look at that bulge. What the heck has happened? After that misfortune, I then had to get out all my wheel brushes, and it's amazing how many brushes and mitts you actually need to use on a daily basis. And I will put links to every single item I'm using in this video in the description below. I was gonna do a decon wash outside. Unfortunately, it is way too hot. Never in a million years would I suggest doing what I'm about to do, but unfortunately I'm gonna to have to do the wash outside, take it inside and clay bar it afterwards. So it is gonna take me a bit longer, but when you've got weather like this and the temperatures are nearly hitting 30 degrees now, and it's about half past 11, we really have no choice. I was all set to get to work and it's always good to face the stubby gun away from the car when using it for the first time in case it does pop off. And it has happened to me before. So this time around, I was all ready to go. But then, what is going on? Oh my God. Look at that, it's, that one's burst as well. Someone's like sabotaged all my hoses overnight. That's never happened before, that's like twice. What the heck? Not gonna lie, not the best of starts for the day, having two hoses blow, but here we go anyway. So the wheels aren't that bad because they regularly get cleaned by myself and that cleaner. All we're going to be doing is putting a bit of snow foam on and giving it a brush with all our different wheel cleaning tools we got here. So it's not going to need any heavy wheel cleaners or anything like that. It's going to be nice and simple to do. And this is the easy bit. We can do this in seconds. It's just when it comes to washing the actual car itself, it's going to be a little bit tricky. For the wheels, I'm just using Infinity Wax wheel shampoo as they do get a regular clean. But it is amazing how much dirt you find gets onto these wheels after just a short drive. Mind you, this car does weigh about the same as 10 elephants, so no wonder. It's very hard washing any vehicle in the direct sunlight, but these hot days really do take their toll on you, like any job. And it's really easy saying don't wash your car in the sun, but for some people this isn't a choice. This is a business and we have families to support. So these methods that I'm using in this video are the best that I could do given the situation that I was in. So my best advice is to get help with you, but it's only a good idea to get help if they do exactly as you say. The second they jump onto something else, the second they make your life worse. 
For example, if one person is working on the wheels, the other person should not go onto the bodywork because it's still one man focusing on that dedicated section. So yesterday was the hottest day since records began. Still, I'm not complaining. I've been moaning like the last 10 years that I wanted to get some decent weather in Britain. I just don't want to be working in it. With the wheels almost done, I just needed to roll the car back and that meant getting inside the world's most expensive fridge. I love these doors. That never gets old. It's too hot, I'm just gonna sit in here for a minute. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't get out of this. I'm just gonna sit in here for the next half an hour Oh, it makes you wonder how those people at hand car washes put up with it. Like, they've got to work really hard and they're hammering through like hundreds of cars per day, even in this heat. I saw one the other day, but no way, man. Oh my God, this is so nice. I can't describe how nice it is to sit in here. The best way to describe this car, like how cold it is, it's colder than a Sainsbury's and you know how warm it is outside when you've gone into a Sainsbury's and you come out and it like slaps you in the face like you've just been hit by a meteorite. It's that cold in here. Oh my word. I wonder if he's got a drink fridge in here. No, he hasn't. He's just got like wads of cash. After wiping my sweaty armpits with 50 pound notes, I had to clean the other side of the wheels using the same method. And that was to ensure that they were perfect as later on I had to use some G-Technic wheel armor just to give them some added protection. The door shuts were a piece of cake to clean. I just needed water and some shampoo. And when it comes to pressure washing, I just turn the machine off and keep the tap running. And it gives me the right amount that I need to get the job done. Okay, so I've taken care of the wheels and the door shuts and the petrol cap. I now have to do the bodywork, but this temperature is starting to get serious now. Obviously, because I'm spraying the wheels, little bits of water are gonna be dropping on the bodywork. So now we're getting these little water spots. They're fine, I can take care of them later, but we need to get this car's temperature right down. So I know people can say, yeah, you probably shouldn't rinse the car before you snow foam it. Rubbish, not today, we're gonna to be making an exception. So I'm gonna give it a good rinse, cool the car down as quickly as possible, and then we're gonna get some snow foam on. We're not quite gonna have the same results compared to when you snow foam a dry car, but nevertheless, this doesn't really need too much stuff done to it. So we're gonna be quite lucky today. So with that in mind, I need to get a wriggle on. snow foam I'm using here is by Infinity Wax and it's called Power Foam and this one is one of my favourites and while we're on the subject of Infinity Wax don't forget you can save an extra 10% off all orders over £10 when you use the code EPIC at the checkout. The Rolls Royce was getting pretty hot and unless a tidal wave was coming over I had no chance of calling it either because there's only so much a pressure washer can do. So anyway I got on with rinsing and cooling and although working in the sun is hard work it does have its benefits. Tell you what by the time this day is finished I'm going to have such a good tan line it's going to be unbelievable I'm going to look like a trucker look at that. So anyway I've done all the snow foaming I'm now onto the shampooing and I am going to try and skip a few bits on the camera just because it's so hot and unfortunately I don't have a cameraman today. But nevertheless, I'm going to soldier on, I'm not going to moan about it. This is lovely. It smells so nice as well. I know in a perfect world you're supposed to get around the whole car with shampoo and then rinse it, but today it simply wasn't possible. And speaking of impossible, this boot was being a right pain in the backside. Oh, for f**k's sake, why does that keep going up? On your the boot just keeps going up willy nilly. Still, at least I wasn't moaning about the weather. I mean, this is by far the hottest day ever. Ever, ever, ever. Drying the car was pretty easy, given the fact it was hotter than Anando's sauce, but I still needed to get the car dryer out, which gave me another genius idea. Once the car was 100% dry, it was time to get it wet again. Yes, I know that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but let me explain. 
Using plain water as a lubricant doesn't work, especially on a hot day. So I'm using a dedicated lubricant from Valet Pro, which gives you enough glide to safely pull out the contaminants. And if you use water alone, the odds are you will end up doing more harm than good. And I have to say, this whole process felt like it was taking forever, because let's face it, it's not a car, it's a canal boat. And it took me a good hour to get the whole thing done, and who the frig is that guy? After watching Bill Goldberg make his first appearance on the channel, it was time to use Synergy Prep because I wanted to make sure that we had the perfect surface to get polishing on. The next job on the list was to fix the small dents caused by poor people when they park next to the car. So thankfully I got James the UK Dent Master here and he's fixing these dents with the most underrated tool in the universe. So the idea when you do a dent, obviously I've just pulled it, so you pull it, it's called a high spot. So you pull it out and the idea is just to get the panel flat so it's just it looks terrible but it's actually not it sounds, yeah. it sounds worse but just chiseling away at a rubber voice with my mate Reese on the larger panels, me on the smaller panels and James on the dents we had a very fast and effective system in place and we were doing so well I got very cocky and I accidentally revealed the secret to being a detailer look at that perfection well, it looks good in the shade anyway. Here I'm using Nasi Old Compound as there were a few deep scratches that needed taking care of. After Reese had done the heavy compound, I ran over the car with a soft pad and a fine compound which came out just beautifully. And we did test plenty of pads to get this right as Rolls-Royce paint can be a royal paint to work with. Time for the ceramic coating now and this is one that I got earlier on in the year but I never really had chance to use it but today was the day and I did like it but I certainly didn't love it and for me one of my favourite ones is Pyramid Car Care as it never lets me down and I'm not sure if it was just the heat or the product itself but I just wasn't enjoying using it as much but that's not to say it was bad it just wasn't completely winning me over during the day but the compounds were fantastic. And here's the thing with ceramic coatings and all car cleaning products in general, it's defining what makes the best product. There's no such thing as the perfect chemical. It's all about what works for you. Once I was happy with the bodywork, I could jump onto the glass and it was a return for Soft 99 Glaco Compound and Glaco Coating because I have had huge success using these on clients' cars. So I thought I'd carry it on with this one. When it comes to cleaning the rest of the glass, adding more protection wasn't really necessary as it looked good enough to me during the wash stage. So I could get away with using the usual glass routine which got me perfect glass in a matter of seconds. So we have a brand new first for the channel and this was Leather Cleanse by Infinity Wax. And this one completely blew me away. Everything about this product is pure 100% class. The cleaning ability along with the feel of the leather, not to mention the smell was one of the best things that I've ever discovered. And it didn't take long for Reese and the team at the studio to start using it on a Porsche later that day. And one of the things that I loved about this was the way it foamed up on agitation as when you first spray it, you don't really expect it to happen. So it was a wonderful surprise and definitely one that I'm going to be sticking with for the near future. The interior itself wasn't really that bad, so I just gave it a basic hoover. Once I was satisfied with the interior, I had to get some Synergy prep on the wheels and coat them with G-Technic wheel armour. And I'm sure some of you will be asking why I didn't dress the tyres on this occasion. And the answer's simple, because we had to take the car to the client's house. So for us, it made more sense to dress the tyres when we got there. It was quite a journey from being the hottest day ever to having things go wrong at the worst possible time. It's all part of being a car cleaner. And I did enjoy filming this one, but it wasn't because of the car. Instead, it was because of the great people that I got to work with. And working alone, it can be nice, but sometimes you need a few good people around you that you can trust to keep you going. And just to add the cherry on top of the cake, the British weather, being the driest and hottest days ever, decided to do the most British thing ever. It bloody rained. And now for the results.